All right, so now that you've actually created an event, we've got to get some files into it. Uh, there's a nice little import files button you can click on, or you can use typical file uh, import files shortcut. Uh, that's much the same way you might do it in uh, Final Cut Pro. I could go to File, Import Files, uh, or I could drag and drop. Uh, I've got the window actually all set up here with all my media, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop it. Uh, that's about as easy as it gets. And there it is. It's referenced all the original media exactly where it started and made these clip references in the project. And if you want to force Final Cut Pro 10 to do much the same thing, it's very, very simple. In fact, the default settings are very Final Cut 7-like. When I first choose Import Files, uh, I get to decide uh, what event I'm going to uh, add it to, either an existing one or a new event. Uh, I went ahead and made a shortcut to where my media is, and I can select everything. Now, as long as I leave some of these checkboxes unchecked, copy files to Final Cut Events folder, uh, create optimized media, create proxy media. Uh, all of those things are going to uh, avoid moving or copying the media anywhere, and it's just going to reference the original clips just like Final Cut 7 does. Uh, I am going to go ahead and enable this, import folders as keyword collections, uh, because then any subfolders in here would actually become bins uh, much in the same way that they would in Final Cut 7. Uh, for now, I'm going to skip some of these other options for uh, analyzing video and audio. Uh, again, in this webinar, we're trying to make things seem as familiar as possible so that you can function in Final Cut 10 the way you do in Final Cut 7. So I'm going to click Import, and this is going to be a fairly quick kind of process, just as quick as with Final Cut 7. Uh, and now I have basically one large master uh, item, I'll call it. Now in Final Cut 7, we call this tab Project. And the nomenclature uh, is different in Final Cut 10, but essentially we have a container called Weekend Warriors that has all of our files in it. Uh, just like in Final Cut, I could look at everything in icon view, and uh, there are some various things we'll go over in a little bit more detail later that allow us to basically make the icons bigger or smaller to see uh, more or less media at a time. And there's kind of a hybrid view. It's like a list view. Uh, but depending on what I choose, I get this nice <laughs> thumbnail strip that I can uh, scrub over. Of course, the new Final Cut 10 term is skimming because I don't have to press down the mouse button in order to do this. But it's just like what you know as scrubbing. And as I <laughs> skim over the clip, I can actually see the uh, footage updating over here in the viewer. Now, if I want to start organizing this stuff a little bit, just like I do in Final Cut 7, uh, I'm going to resize my interface a little bit so I can have some more screen real estate for what I'm doing. Now, again, in Final Cut 7, what I'd probably do, again, resize my real estate, the first thing would be to create some bins. I might have one bin for my interviews. All right, and I can go ahead and manually select the interview clips, and notice they're kind of uh, spread out all over my project, all right? And then I can drag those into an interviews bin, and I've subcategorized my project a little bit. In Final Cut 10, I could do exactly the same thing. That is, create the container first, and then drag things into it. Now, behind the scenes, something different is going on, but for the time being, let's just try it the Final Cut 7 way. 